Yo, what's poppin' everybody? It's me again, SayRoll94, your faithful host. And I'm gonna show you guys the deck profile that I use for the new Empoleon uh, deck. Uh, kinda cool, but I like the others we've tried. It's not that great. Um, so yeah, Empoleon, this new card from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. It probably won't go down as good as other the other Empoleon cards in this era, but I mean... I don't know, it, it has a lot of potential with the recall attack, but it's just, it's so easy for the decks that it's meant to counter to play around it. So yeah, I, I found out the hard way, but I, I sort of uh, saw it coming. So with recall, what this Pokemon can do is use one of its pre-evolutions attacks and just do it for one energy. So the main thing you want to do is copy this uh, Piplup's bubble hold, you're going to do 80. And then, if the defending Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, it can attack during your opponent's next turn. So, of course, the most powerful strategies right now involve basic Pokemon and mainly Tag Team GX basic Pokemon. So, you know, this is meant to stop them in their tracks and uh, sort of get like a little lock going. But it's really hard. It's really hard when they can play around it. Uh, but this is mainly what you want to do. Uh, you can have this Print Plup too and do Direct Dive which is essentially going to be a 100 damage, 1 water energy snipe, which isn't half bad either, but still only run one of the print plups. And I run one of the uh, Ultra Prism Napoleon ones. This one has served me a lot better, to be honest. At least this guy, when it got out, it could get some decent KOs uh, with the choice band. But anyways, I uh, still have this around as like a, another option, I guess. If we go up against, let's say, other non non basic decks, then at least you can use this dude and do something. Um, you know, with total command, if both of you have a full bench, it's gonna do 200 for two, which is actually quite strong. Uh, won't get the one hit knockouts probably, but still very good. Uh, I mean, it also works out because I only managed to get two of these once again. Yeah, so one print plup, and you gotta max out the piplup line. Uh, I've got this beautiful Dawn Piplup 2. This card is actually it's it's actually so cool, so beautiful that I have it down, and I don't I don't want to evolve into Empoleon. I just want to keep this out and look at it. Uh, but yeah, you got Piplup, you got Dawn here. Super cool. It's the same as this, just the Secret Era alternate art. Uh, whatever the fuck. I don't know if I don't think there's Secret Eras, but maybe some sort of a alternate rarity. And then I've got one of these, you know, DP revamped Piplups only because I've only managed to get, I only have two of these, one of these, so yeah, it's pitiful, but the reality, I guess if you use this to evolve into this Empoleon, you don't care, but anyways, it's the other 60 HP one can do splatter, yeah. So, as you guys can see, the Pajoto line is in here. This is pretty similar. The draw engine is going to be quite similar to Dusk, Dusknor, the Dusknor deck. Uh, this is a pure stage 2 deck. No fancy stuff. You just want to get this dude out and attack. And you want to be consistent. So the best thing to do is to pair it up with Pajoto. Help us draw cards. It's not a GX, so we can max out uh, the Shrine of Punishment right here. So it's great. And... It's the same philosophy with the Dusknor deck. You should probably check it out to learn everything. But yeah, uh, when I run anti-meta decks like these, I run Shrine of Punishment. I don't want to run any of my own GXs to get hurt. Once again, we got the ever useful Mew for the bench barrier. Good stuff. Still running this guy, the Mr. Mime, as uh, another sort of ability dude uh, with scoop up block. Maybe it's going to do something. Yeah, and these are all the Pokemon. Very, very simple stuff. Now, since Water doesn't have the support it used to have, and we don't have Dive Ball, we don't have all those good cards, we don't have a, a mysterious treasure to search out basic Pokemon and evolution, so we got to run the Communication, which is still a good card, but it won't be as good as if we had mysterious treasure in this deck. So I get a little bit of extra space. So I put this counter catcher, or this great catcher actually, which is actually quite good. You discard two cards, and you can actually choose and pull a GX, which is great. 
I've also got a little bit of space for the recent stat, but this card is good. I know it's good. It's just that in every deck I make, I don't have enough space to squeeze it in. Most of them anyway. So I put it in here. I also have it in the Garchomp deck. Uh, of course, it's a good card. It'll probably get banned because it's too good with the other bullshit it gets combined with. Uh, it got banned in Japan. It'll probably get banned pretty soon for us. But I won't be I won't be sad to be honest. Yeah, as long as it's around, I'm gonna use it. Uh, then you got the double switch in this deck. Uh, it's more important uh, compared to Dusknor. You got the one lure ball. You got the gear fetch supporters. One of the whistles. Uh, one of the spinners to get energies. Uh, regular stuff that I use. Max out the candies. Stage 2 deck once again. And once again, since I've got that extra space, I can actually max out the shrine completely. Run 4 instead of 3. And it's actually great. It's really annoying for my opponent. It means that it's almost always around uh, in one form or another, putting those damage counters on them. Which is awesome. And then the last thing is the supporters. We got the Cynthia, 4 of her, 1 Erica. Uh, double Lily, and you max out the Elm once again. Fetch those Piplups and the PGs and Pejotos. Awesome, awesome engine. Double Liza, Titan Liza. These guys are pretty good. And the one Volkner that I always, almost always run. 11 Water Energies, and this is the deck. Now, maybe this, you might get more lucky with this compared with uh, if you use Dusknor. But, I mean, you know, you guys have seen from the matches that you, you could come close. But, like, even decks that you're supposed to have an advantage with, like Fire, uh, they can play around you. You know, because you don't KO them fast enough. You can't KO them fast enough. So, you know, that kind of sucks. You know, maybe if this Piplup had an insane attack like it did, I don't know, 130 for 3, which is, they would never do something like that, but... Uh, who knows? I mean, I guess nothing's nothing's impossible these days. But uh, if we did like 130, then we could have done like 260 with the weakness and you get that KO. I guess you can still do this with this guy's Aquafall attack. And you get that instant instant KO on the uh, tag team. Resham and Charizard GX tag team. But you discard all energies. You need two to do this. I mean... It's just no matter what you do, uh, it's not easy for you. And they have all of the options. So unfair. But anyways, this has been the deck, guys, if you're curious. Because there's always somebody asks me about what my deck list is. And I always, I almost always post the deck lists uh, for the decks that I use. Almost always. Um, but yeah, you need to check my decks, decks playlist for all the decks. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys uh, uh, sub subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and share this video with your friends. I'll try and post more more decks. Uh, to be honest, the decks that I really wanted to do from Cosmic Eclipse, I don't have the cards at all. Like the Reshram Zekrom. Maybe more Reshram and Charizards to use with Volcarona. That would have been fly too. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try, and I'm probably going to make another video, sort of like a rant, talking about the format, because, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'll, I'll save the thoughts on that. But yeah, it's it's a problem, you know, when I use three different decks from the new set, and all of them sort of fail. And inevitably, because it's just, they just don't have enough support, and tag team guys are just too powerful. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you guys for watching. What say?